Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on one of these fun videos. Today I'll be freeing my client from these long crystal nail tips. Three weeks have already passed and it seems like these crystal nail tips from AliExpress were a success. The tips are still stable and overall look great. My client really enjoyed this set and told me that she got so many compliments. But now she is ready for something fresh and new, so we've decided to change to an oval shape. Because these tips are plastic, I'm filing everything down and only leaving the natural nail. The tiny pieces of plastic were flying everywhere, so it's time to put on my protective glasses. For those of you who don't own protective glasses, make sure to get some. They're not that expensive and you don't want to risk having material fly into your eye. I've removed all the plastic and now I'm taking down the material's thickness. Once I see that I'm close to the natural nail plane, I am slowing down. Now for our cleanup. For this, I'm using a flame bit with red abrasion. Not only am I cleaning up around the cuticle, but also down the sides of her nails. Then I'm turning my nail drill onto reverse and working on the opposite side. Then I'm taking a pair of small scissors and carefully removing the cuticle. After I've removed the cuticle with a pair of scissors, I'm taking the same flame bit and buffing up the area. Buffing up after the cuticle has been cut all depends on the client's skin, if your client's skin is dry or moist or whether they are prone to hangnails or not. After buffing up with the flame bit, I'm switching over to a silicone carbide nail bit, which leaves everything nice and polished. For polishing, I typically use this bit or a ball bit. For 
further, I'm dehydrating her nails, applying a non-acidic primer, a flex base coat, and a liquid poly gel, but that's not all. Today, I'm going to show all of you a method for anti-chipping. I'm taking a clear builder gel and applying it to the very tips of her nails. Not on top of her nails, but right there on the edge. This is why we need a thick gel, otherwise it will end up dripping. This technique is really simple and great for anti-chipping. Basically, we're sealing the tips. Once I've applied our Builder Gel and let it cure, I'm coating her entire nail in a Combi Gel. After they've cured, I'm taking my nail file and slightly filing the edges of her nails, making everything nice and even. And now for our design. Today's design will be a simple one, but super pretty. First, I'm applying a non-wipe glossy top coat that I'll be carrying underneath the lamp for 20 to 30 seconds. A lot of you have asked which lamp I use, and the answer is a 48 watt Sun 6. I've tried other lamps before, but I always come back to this one. It works great, and it's definitely my favorite. On top of our dry top coat, I'm applying this beautiful semi-transparent chrome powder. I always love a simple design with chrome powder. I think it makes everything look so elegant. Now to coat everything in two layers of a top coat. Then underneath, I'm carefully sealing the bottom of both her natural nail and the material, even further minimizing the chances of edges chipping. And here's a small peek at how her nails have been holding up. The finish still looks great and there's no chipping. If any of you try this anti-chipping technique, let me know how it works out for you. And if you liked this video and found it helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up, and until next time.